The Maverick's comfortable position on the market won't last for long because several brand new competitors are coming. And among those that are expected to be the key rivals, one name pops up instantly. Yes, we are talking about the world's largest car maker entering the segment because there are at least nine reasons why Toyota Stout will dominate the small truck market. Number nine, fuel efficiency. Like most Toyota models, the all new Stout will be offered with a hybrid powertrain and therefore we expect it to be extremely efficient. The Maverick already set pretty high standards with its hybrid powertrain. It returns around 42 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. But what if we say to you that the Stout is going to be even more efficient? Namely, most sources suggest that the new pickup will ride on the same platform as the new Corolla Cross, which opens up the possibility of installing a smaller hybrid system based on a 2.0 liter gas engine. That setup would ensure class-leading fuel economy with ease, as pretty much all experts are convinced that such a stout would be able to return way over 40 miles per gallon in a combined ride. At the same time, it would feature quite respectable max output, around 196 horsepower, which is actually five horses more than the Maverick. Even if the company decides to go with the more common system, based on a 2.5 liter engine, which powers a broad range of Toyota models, including RAV4, Camry, Highlander, and others, it would be able to match Maverick miles per gallon ratings. On the other hand, it would offer superior power, which could go up to 240 horses. Not to mention that Toyota offers hybrids with an all-wheel drive setup, which is not the case with the Ford Maverick. So, no matter the choice, Toyota is expected to be in a big advantage in this aspect. Number eight, capable Turbo 4. But hybrid powertrains won't be the only ones on offer, according to the latest reports. It looks like Toyota is willing to offer the new pickup also with conventional gas-only powertrains. There could be two of them, starting from the naturally aspirated 2.5-liter inline-4 that puts out around 203 horsepower. That engine would probably be reserved for the entry-level Stout, but we also count on the version equipped with the new 2.4-liter Turbo 4. That engine would be used for range-topping models, with a max output that goes up to 265 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque which tops the Maverick's Turbo 4 by a fine margin. Number seven, dedicated off-road version. There are a few things that clearly indicate that the new Toyota Stout is going to be offered in one or more off-road variants. First of all, Toyota's hybrid systems are all available with all-wheel drive, which is not the case with the Maverick, as we already mentioned. In such a constellation, the Stout hybrid could easily come in an off-road version, just like the RAV4 comes in the Woodland Edition but the real deal should come with the Turbo 4 powered Stout, which has the potential to completely redefine off-roading in the compact pickup segment. According to our reliable sources, the Japanese car maker is preparing a TRD badge version of the new pickup and it will most likely come with the TRD off-road moniker. Just look at the mid-sized Tacoma and you will realize that this means a full load of upgrades. Some of the key features we expect to see are standard all-wheel drive with low-range gearing, upgraded suspension with new shocks and increased ground clearance, electronically locking differential, skid plates, all-terrain tires, and many more. Number six, long bed availability. Small pickups are great for many reasons. They're comfortable, refined, easy to drive and efficient, but they all come in crew cab layouts, which leaves space for no more than a short bed. The Maverick features a 4.5-foot bed, while the Santa Cruz is good for about 4.2 feet. In the case of Toyota Stout, things could be a little bit different. Namely, the Japanese company could easily offer more than one cab style, and that other style is expected to be some kind of an extended cab, or maybe even a regular cab layout. In any case, this means there will be extra room to install a longer cargo bed. How much longer? It's still hard to say, but we have no doubt it would go over 5 feet. And if Toyota manages to offer some respectable ratings in terms of payload capacity, which would, in numbers, mean around 1,600 pounds, the new Stout could be a very interesting proposal to a not so small number of potential buyers. Number five, top notch safety features. It's no secret that Toyota is one of the most generous car makers when it comes to safety features. Even the cheapest models come equipped with so many modern driver assisted systems, so we expect nothing less from the new Stout. We expect to see base models equipped very well in this aspect, while a long list of options should be there as well. But that's not all. As a brand new model, the new Stout will most likely come with some of Toyota's latest achievements, which come in the form of the latest Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 suite of advanced systems. With new radars and sensors, 
the latest version offers big improvements in several systems. Starting from the pre-collision system that can now detect motorcyclists, adaptive cruise control with enhanced vehicle detection settings, recognition of more traffic signs than before, etc. Moreover, Toyota also presented new systems, such as the Proactive Driver Assist, which assists drivers in several ways, including braking and steering, all in order to help in challenging situations. Number 4. Maneuverability Although compact, pickups like Maverick and Santa Cruz are still quite large, especially when compared to vehicles that are not trucks. They feature around 120 inches of wheelbase and 200 inches in total length, and that can be challenging for many drivers, especially when it comes to maneuvering in tight spaces. To give you a better picture, this is actually the wheelbase and length of an average full-size SUV, so you may presume that can be pretty challenging to non-traditional pickup drivers, and believe us, they take a big share in Maverick and Santa Cruz sales. For all of them, the Stout might just be an alternative they've been looking for, because most sources suggest that Toyota's pickup is about to feature a little bit smaller dimensions. How much smaller? It's still unclear, but we presume that the wheelbase could go between 110 and 115 inches. Now that's already way more acceptable for non-experienced drivers, because that's on par with mid-size SUVs. All in all, the Stout should be more maneuverable than the competition, without sacrificing interior space too much. Number 3. Reliability and Resale Value In something we could call a normal set of circumstances, there would be important but not exactly deciding factors when choosing a new car. But times have changed, and even brand new cars that come directly from the factory line can cause problems. Just look at the Maverick and its drivers that have been suffering so much in the last few years. Engine problems, safety issues, bad assembly quality. These are just some of the many problematic things about Ford's small pickup. On the other hand, Toyota enjoys an impeccable reputation when it comes to reliability and quality control. So nothing less is expected from the Stout. It may come as an all-new model, but this pickup will be relying mostly on proven technologies that have been in use for years, in models like RAV4. And we all know what comes with a high reliability score, a high resale value. Pretty much every Toyota holds its price extremely well, so you don't have to worry that your car is going to lose half its price in just a few years. That's definitely a strong selling point in today's market. Number 2. Availability Another thing that may be a deciding factor when choosing between the two different models is the actual availability. On one side, we have Maverick with its super high demand. So the only thing you can do at the moment is to order your example and then wait for months to actually get it. On the other hand, Toyota has always been known for excellent logistics and the overall organization of the production process. And if we add that the demand for Stout probably won't be that high in the initial months, we are pretty sure that buying a Stout is going to be just like any other purchase, which means you can go to your local dealer, finish formalities, and come out with car keys in your hand. Number 1. Competitive Price Despite all the qualities a vehicle can have, price is still the deciding factor for a vast majority of buyers. And, with Maverick's recent price increase, we are pretty sure that Toyota can comfortably form a competitive price. Ford's pickup starts at around $25,000, while the hybrid goes around $26,500, so we presume that the Japanese company will come up with similar numbers. Of course, it's still early to predict the exact numbers, but we expect Stout to be similarly priced. And if we consider that it will probably come with more standard equipment than Ford's pickup, we are pretty sure most people won't mind even if it costs slightly more. In any case, we expect that the new Stout will be, just like most Toyotas, a great value for the price. Thanks for watching and see you next time.